Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You know, our next guest is one of the stars of VH1 reality show Basketball Wives LA. She's also a single mom and an entrepreneur and is the breakout star of a show that we all know as Basketball Wives and the best friend of everybody. <laughs> so let's take a look. So I'm moving to Atlanta. And I find like a really great home in you know, in a nice part of Atlanta. I have like a lot of friends in Atlanta and all that stuff. So, you do. yeah, a lot of oh. friends and family. So, you like it there? I love it there. I feel like I'm gonna go back and forth. Mm. All right, all right, all right, honey. So, you're coming to the ATL? Yes, I'm here, guys. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. So, so, what was the determining factor for you to move from LA to Atlanta? What drew you to Atlanta? Well, Atlanta. You know, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. I have friends here. Mm -hmm. But most of all, my ex-husband is in Chicago, mm -hmm. and we needed to find a happy medium. Right, right. So right. in order to, to effectively co-parent, mm -hmm. I needed my kids to be closer to their dad. Yeah, sure. So Atlanta was mm -hmm. my place I picked. It's a good place. Yes, it's, it's a, a good great place. great weather here and great schools. It makes sense. It makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Describe to me how is it for you to share your life in front of millions? You know, we've seen you for a number of years on Basketball Wise. We've seen you in some tight spots yeah. and we've seen you have some amazing times. How is it sharing your life with millions? You know what? Sometimes it's difficult, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you're, you know, you're not in the best mood. Mm -hmm. and, but at the end of the day, you feel like people see you in their living room every Monday. Mm -hmm. So when they meet you, you know, they have expectations and you're like, oh, my daddy just died. I don't want to, right. you know. Yeah. But yeah. you, you know, I find time to make sure that I stay authentic to myself mm -hmm. and I just make it work for me. Yes. You know? And I just feel like I never live above what it is. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you guys love me as a personality, mm -hmm. but that personality is actually me. Mm -hmm. So you know that I have that's my good. good days and my bad Absolutely. days. Absolutely. That's fair. Don't judge me else. for it. Yeah. I know that's right. And another thing that I think is really good is that you're making a step to move the kids closer to their father. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, I, and speaking of which, like, we watched you kind of go through this, um, difficult divorce on TV. Right. So it's good that you still feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, well, it, it seems that you guys have found a happy medium within your relationship as well. So tell us, take, take us through what that was like dealing with a divorce on TV. You know, it was it was really difficult. Mm -hmm. When I filed for divorce, the next morning it was all over the blogs, right. and it right. was at the other end of everyone's tongue. Like, oh, I, we knew this was gonna not mm -hmm. work. And but what they didn't realize is that he and I have been together for 12 years prior mm -hmm. to that. And so, you know, I was devastated. Mm -hmm. I was, and I had to figure out how to just get tough skin because yeah. I was everything yeah. I didn't know I was. You know, mm -hmm. like I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I am a church-going woman. What are you? Right. And an educated yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah. an educated hey, woman with a college degree. So it was just kind of like, oh, I'm everything that you, you guys are just putting yeah. things on me. You're saying yeah. that I want this when I really actually want nothing. I wanted the man, not the money. Mm -hmm. Right. And it just didn't work that way. Right. So I, I knew like to gracefully bow out. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that you found tough skin and it seems like you're doing amazing now. Yeah, thank you. Thank with you. that being said, how is it uh, working with some of the ladies on the show, right? And you have these friendships, sometimes they're pseudo, sometimes they're real. Who has traveled from the reality show into your personal life as your real friend? Well, Bambi, I brought Bambi on mm -hmm. uh, what my second season, mm -hmm. and she's always been my friend. Yes. Um, we've been friends since, I want to say, junior high school. Mm -hmm. We lived down the street from each other in mm -hmm. Compton. So I brought her on the show, and mm -hmm. then she just ventured off, and she's doing love and hip-hop and all this other stuff. Yeah. So she was yeah. like, oh, yeah. It's not for me, I'm going over. Mm -hmm. And then Brandy, I've known her for a very long mm -hmm. time, maybe about 10 plus years before we got on the show mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So the person that I will say that, you know, kind of stuck with me outside of the Basketball Wife franchise that I met during taping would be Jackie. Right. And we, uh, a lot of people are like, are you kidding me, Jackie? But yes, yes. we had our ups and downs, but in tune, in, in the midst of our ups and downs, we learned to respect each other and yeah. love each other. And um, so, yes, that would be my sister. You know, oh, oh, go, see, okay. go ahead. Real quick, uh, I'm, these lashes on I'm your looking face at are amazing. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your lash line, girl, right quick before we go, because these lashes, well, honey, um, are amazing. I am, today is the grand opening of my lash line, Vanity in the City. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I brought a pair for you guys and the other two ladies as well. They're beautiful. Um, so you guys will be the first to Yay. preview my lash line. Love that, Vanity yes. in the City. Listen, we would like for you guys to continue with all of our conversations, as always, at sistercircletv.com. Listen, Malaysia, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. Yeah.